Hello, my name is Kat aka Kakibot and I make videos about life and travel around Scotland. And today we are in East Lothian which is an amazing area just outside of Edinburgh. So if you're visiting Edinburgh this is gonna be super easy for you. We have been invited here by Visit East Lothian to have a little explore and find three amazing places to visit for all animal lovers. And trust me, after I did some research I found that East Lothian is a paradise for animal lovers. So in this video we're gonna meet some alpacas, we're gonna meet some donkeys and some piglets and we're gonna learn about seabirds and if you're an animal fan you're gonna have a great time. Our first stop is just behind us, it's the East Links family park and I can't wait to see what animals are waiting for us there. This is the East Links Family Park and for £15 you can spend the whole day here. And trust me, that's actually really worth it because you can do so many things in there. Uh, there's a whole bunch of animals, so obviously if you're watching this you must be an animal lover. Maybe if you are visiting with a family member who does not like animals all that much, then there are a lot of other activities to do. There is a big fort that you can crawl through. There is like a water play area. There is also a little mini golf course. And there's also a train that goes around the whole farm and actually goes like into the enclosure. So the animals will come up to you and be really hopeful that you have some food for them. <laughs> you can, by the way, buy some little snacks for the animals and kind of like lure them out of their little houses. So don't worry, they will come up to you. They're very friendly. I believe that there's also like a membership option. So if you want to visit multiple times in a year, maybe you should look into that. Uh, right now, if you want to visit, you should make a reservation online, just like with pretty much everything during uh, the pandemic. But once that's over, you will probably be able to just pop in and say hi to the local donkeys.
So today we are in North Berwick, which is 20 miles east from Edinburgh, so not far away at all. And we are visiting the Scottish Seabird Centre, that beautiful building just behind me. Their visitor centre opened in the year 2000 and since then they were really focused on showing locals and visitors the, the beauty of the Scottish marine wildlife. And there is a lot of it because Scotland has so many little islands and so much coastline there's you know there's even dolphins and whales and obviously so many birds as you know that's their main focus it's actually super convenient that they opened it right here in north berwick because they are surrounded by amazing islands one of them being the bass rock which is the world's largest single island colony of gannets. Uh, I think that Scotland is actually the home of like 60% of all European gannets if you're interested in random bird facts. There's one right there for you. During the main season, which would be kind of between Easter and October, they do a lot of boat trips to all of these little islands. Uh, so you can see puffins and their baby pufflings, and you can obviously watch all of these majestic gannets. But right now, it's actually not much of a bird season. Right now, it's the seal season. And the boat trips, unfortunately, are not on anymore, but you can visit the visitor center and see some baby seals on their webcams. We were even told that if we like sit down and wait for long enough, we might see a baby seal being born, which is so cute. Ah! Also so gross. <laughs> yeah, si si Simon didn't quite like uh, learning about all the details, but I found it fascinating. That's another thing. Everyone working at the visitor center is so friendly and is just like so excited to like, you know, give you their knowledge about the sea birds of Scotland. Amazing. As you can imagine, right now during the pandemic, it uh, works a bit differently from normal. But as long as you make your reservation online, they will make sure that you have basically, you know, these like zones all for yourself. You will be able to play with all the interactive bits of the exhibit and then they will be thoroughly cleaned and you will move on to the other zone. And then you can move on to the last zone where uh, the seals are being born miracle of life. I would say that overall it's an amazing activity for animal lovers when the weather isn't great and we all know that in Scotland that happens pretty often. So yeah, a great indoor activity for animal lovers. Oh and one last thing because everyone loves David Attenborough. Uh, David Attenborough actually super loves the Bass Rock and he called it one of the 12 wildlife wonders of the world. So if you're a Attenborough head you have to visit North Berwick. Our third and final animal lover stop here in East Lothian is John Muir Alpacas. This is a little farm, as you can tell by their name, they specialize in alpacas, which are kind of like tinier, cuter llamas. Also not as spitty or, you know, less aggressive and just cuter, much cuter. Look at them. So cute. It has been a dream of mine for the longest time to walk an alpaca. So this video has now been basically my dream job to make. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it costs about 10 to 20 pounds depending on how long your little alpaca trek is going to be and that is the cost you pay per alpaca. 
So basically, if you're like a parent with a child, then you're going to only pay 20 pounds for that one alpaca that you're trekking around the farm with. This farm is situated near to Dunbar. It's kind of in the same general area as the East Links family park. And it's also close to the John Muir Way. So you can imagine that the trek you're going to take around the farm is going to be very pretty, albeit maybe a bit windy and cold like ours was today. But I don't care because I got to walk an alpaca and it is a dream come true. Yay. And that is it, my peeps. I don't know about you guys, but I had the best of times. I have to admit that I am still thinking about maybe having a pet donkey at some point, because that one donkey with the nice fringe over at East Links, I just have such a crush on him. He's so cute. Let me know in the comments below which one was your critter crush. I would love to see what your favorite animal out of the bunch that we met today was. As always, I will super appreciate if you like and subscribe and leave a comment and all of those things under this video because it pleases the gods of algorithm. And also you can go visit me on Kaki Bot or Kaki Blog on Instagram where I leave my illustrations and photos from all of these adventures. I would also like to mention that obviously this video probably wouldn't happen if we didn't have the support and help of the wonderful people from Visit East Lothian. So give them a follow as well if you liked visiting this area uh, through the medium of this wonderful, wonderful video. <laughs> <laughs> patting myself on the arm. That's a thing now. I'm gonna leave all links down in the doobly-doo so you can give them a follow on Instagram and you can also find all the websites for the great places we visited there. And yeah, once again, I hope you had a great time and I will see you soon. Bye. And they are kind of like a, a smaller, gentler llama from what I... Is he, he's eating my hair. <laughs> boy, <laughs> boy, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Um. <laughs>